Hello, welcome back to our plumbing course. I'm Joe Carswell, and this video covers the basics of installing PVC pipe. It will also go over a skills exercise that will allow you to practice this process. So let's get right into it. Welcome to our channel. By now, we've loaded almost 100 videos onto YouTube so that anyone can have access to structured trades training resources. We are really trying to grow this channel, and the best way for that to happen is for you, the viewer, to subscribe. Also, if you learned something from these videos, don't forget to click like. So thanks for your support. Let's get back into the lesson. In this video, we're going to cover cutting pipe, dressing it, um, dry fitting the pipe together, and then solvent welding it to make a permanent connection. We'll also go over this skills exercise that uh, will give you a lot of practice doing all of that PVC pipe process. First things first, when we're working with any pipe, especially PVC, we need to cut it to length. We would use a ratcheting pipe cutter. We've covered this in our plumbing tools, and this will easily cut our PVC pipe. Once that pipe's cut, we will end up with a very sharp edge on the outside of the pipe and on the inside of the pipe. We need to remove the sharp edge on the inside. We would call that reaming the pipe because that inside edge will uh, cause the flow of water to uh, make a lot of noise and it can also restrict the flow of water in certain situations. We need to soften this outside edge of the pipe. We'll call that chamfering because the outside edge, if it's sharp, when we push it into our slip socket on our fitting, it will tend to scrape away the glue like a knife and that will lead to leaks in the system. Let's ream the inside of this pipe. I'm using this tool here and we will run it on the inside. It doesn't take much, a couple of passes. I'm not even adding a lot of pressure and we've rounded out the inside of that pipe. That will allow our water to flow more quietly and a, a, a less restricted flow. This tool doesn't work on the outside of the pipe for chamfering, but we can use this tool for that. Uh, one end is for chamfering and we also have the option to ream a pipe with this end. So this reamer could work on the inside of the, this pipe with a, uh, just a quick twist, not a lot of pressure. And we can use this end of the pipe to chamfer the outside. This will knock off that outside edge so that when we push this into our fitting with glue, we get a good film of glue in there. And you will notice, um, let's see if I have a pipe here. I've got a, a fresh cut pipe here, very harsh edges. It's actually very hard to get this fitting or get this to slip into the fitting. When we have chamfered this outside edge, it actually slips in much easier. Let's go through the process start to finish. So I've got a pipe, it's been cut, harsh edges on the inside, I'll ream that edge, and then I'll chamfer the outside, and that end is dressed, ready to be glued. I can do it on this pipe as well. So I'll go ahead and ream the inside. And I'll do this end while I'm at it. And now we can chamfer the outside of the pipe. And you don't want to push too hard on this. It tends to dig in and kind of grab that pipe, kind of chatter on it. So just a light twist on that. Now I have four all or all three edges dressed. We can dry fit our pipe with two elbows. I'll put an elbow on this end and an elbow on this end. And now I'll just put a leg in here and a leg in here. And now we can talk about indexing the pipe. If we don't mark our pipe, we have to disassemble this, uh, add primer and glue to each fitting, and then put them back together. If we don't know how it goes back together, we can end up with a situation, say like this. I've got a pipe that's straight and I want this pipe to be straight with the other one. If I don't have some marks to index it, I've got my glue and I glue this together. Those fittings will uh, be solvent welded instantly and we have one shot at this. So now at this point, I would have to cut part of this out and redo it. The easy way to do this would be to align everything in a dry fit process. So I'm gonna line it all up. Now I can take a Sharpie or something to mark it and I'll mark places on the pipe that I can reference later. 
I'll make sure that when I glue these together that I line those lines up and that will lead to less confusion when I'm standing there with my glue and I have literally seconds to put this stuff together. Now it's time to glue these fittings together. So I'll pick one here to glue and I want to go ahead and make a connection between this pipe and this fitting. I've got uh, my materials. Also, these ma this stuff is uh, toxic for your hands. I'll be wearing gloves during this process and I'll also have some safety glasses on. And you need to be in a well ventilated area. So this process happens very quickly. You need to get everything set up. So I've got my primer ready to go and the a lid a little loose. And I also need to have my cement here as well. That's what we'll follow up our primer with and we need to do it immediately after. And you don't wanna be fumbling around with this stuff. So I'll have the can uh, loose and I'll have the swab ready to go. So at this point, it's time to prime this connection. And there is a specific uh, sequence of things we need to do. And we're going to repeat this process every time. It's good to have both fittings uh, in one hand. That frees this hand up to apply the primer and the glue. And you don't need a ton of primer. And this stuff's really thin, so I'm gonna kinda make sure that it's not, it's still gonna make a mess, but it's not just running off of there. I'll start in the fitting and I wanna coat this fitting solidly all the way around. We're then going to coat the end of the pipe and make sure that you coat enough of the pipe that you are making full contact in there. It's about three quarters of an inch for a PVC fitting. Once I have done the, the inside of the fitting and then the outside of the pipe, I'll do the inside of the fitting one more time and now I'm ready to glue it. So the glue comes out and we're going to reverse that sequence. I'll do the pipe first, a good coating on the pipe. We'll then coat the inside of the fitting and then coat the pipe again. And now we're ready to glue this stuff together. You have to commit at this point because once you push it together, I'm going to put it in in this direction and I'm going to twist it until my marks line up. I wanna put a quarter turn on this pipe and then hold it together with some pressure. The hydraulic action of this cement will try to push that fitting out. <clears throat> the interesting thing about this kind of uh, solvent weld connection is it's not just glue. What's happening here is this uh, plastic is melting together. So it's literally fusing or welding together. I'll hold it for a few seconds. I can let go now. This fitting will be uh, pretty much cemented together within four minutes or so. And as you can see, you're going to drip some stuff. If this is a sort of a thin cement. You can clean off any uh, extra that might be on there. But at this point, we can move on to another fitting. It's as easy as that. Our next fitting, we'll do the same to it. I'll get these in my hands so I can work both of them at the same time, starting with my primer. I'll coat the inside of the fitting first. Then I'll coat the outside of my pipe with enough coverage to fit in there. Then I'll coat my fitting one more time. Moving on to my cement, I'll start on the pipe first. And then I will do the fitting and then the pipe one more time, making sure I go all the way around. And now I can go ahead and glue these together. Once again, we want to start and then put a quarter turn on it while pushing all the way in and hold it there for a few seconds. Lining up our, our marks, that will make sure that we get our pipes aligned on either end. And after a few seconds, I can let go of that, wipe off my extra, and then move on to my next one. So here we go with our primer and starting in the fitting, make sure it's not pooling in this fitting or draining out of the pipe somewhere. You don't want an excess of primer. Coat the pipe and then back on the fitting again. Now our cement, starting with the pipe, coat it, coat the fitting, then the pipe again. Now we can put these together and I'm going to forget to align my marks and I'll let that set. I'm looking at my mark. I know I'm making a mistake, but I'm doing this for a reason. And 
30 seconds. We'll let go and I'll move on to my next one. And these literally, they're setting up as we speak. Let's do our last fitting. Inside our fitting, outside a pipe, back in our fitting one more time. Cement, start with our pipe. In our fitting and on our pipe. And for the longest time, I had no sequence of this at all. The manufacturer is the one of the, the manufacturer of the chemicals is the one that spells this specific sequence out. Make sure you hold that fitting. It will literally try to push itself out. After a few seconds, you can let go. So what we have here is now our fittings made or our, our connections solvent welded. They are curing as we speak. And here's what happens. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but if you forget your marks or you don't make your marks, I've got a situation here where if I was to wait another five minutes, there would the only option I would have to fix this uh, mistake would be to cut out a section of this pipe and then glue in new fittings and pipe. This is wasted time, money. And so hopefully this demonstrates this idea of marking the pipe, lining all those up so that when you take everything apart, you put it all back together again, it goes back the way you dry fitted it in the first place. So a quick review for the PVC process. You need to measure, mark, and cut your pipe. You then need to ream the inside sharp edge of that cut pipe. You need to chamfer the outside sharp edge of that pipe. You then would dry fit your uh, pipe and your fittings together in whatever path that you're trying to make. You would index those pipes and fittings so that you could disassemble them and then reassemble them just like you did before. Then you're going to add primer to a fitting then you will add the cement to a fitting. You'll align your marks, hold it together for a few seconds, and that's it. So I hope that makes sense. This is a really fun system to work with. It, uh, it uh, combines a lot of parts and pipe together, and it happens really quickly. Keep in mind that glue sets really fast. Uh, don't forget to dress, to dress your pipe ends and hold them in place before that glue sets. So thanks for watching. Good luck with this project, and I'll see you in the next lesson.